Hi Geocon users! In this video, I am going to show you how to use our newly implemented features called Business Overview Reports. These reports provide a comprehensive summary of your company financial health and performance. This set of reports is a high-level view of your business's key financial metrics and can help you make informed decisions. In a nutshell, these reports are pre-designed templates featuring default styles, fonts, and layouts, but these can be easily customized to meet your customers' expectations. To begin, if you're interested in using our KPI dashboards, simply submit your request via email to one of our support members. The moment you receive a file from us, the name of the file will have KPI reports slash graphs designs in different versions. So instead of demo here, you would see V1, 2, 3, and so on. The different versions we create have different graphics and dashboards, so based on your taste, you can select whichever you would like. The first step in using the KPI reports and graphs design dashboard is to make a copy of the file because at first this will be a view only file. So in order to do that, you go to file, make a copy. <laughs> Boom. Once you make a copy as a regular Google sheet file, you have created your own customizable version of the dashboard. Once you have created your own usable version of the file, begin with the data contained within our demo file. This as it stands is dummy data, and you must pull and replace this data with your own client data to begin to customize your dashboard. To do this, follow these steps. First, we're going to go to Extensions, GACon for QuickBooks, select Load Cloud Template, and then select GACon Cloud Template Library. The template library is a place where we keep all of our templates that belong to a specific package. For this, we call KPI package. It's easy to find by searching in the keyword section here. And a set of eight different total reports will pop up. These need to be downloaded, applied in a certain order, and executed. Beginning with the tab we're trying to customize to your specific data, in this case, profit and loss report, we will select profit and loss report under the KPI packages, double click the report, let that load up, and then without any changes, we will execute this report. Awesome. The next step is to move to the next tab once that's done loading. In this case, balance sheet report. And then we would go ahead to the template library and do the same exact thing. Looking for KPI, locating balance sheet report here, double clicking. and executing without changing anything. Awesome. So the next steps that you would do is for the following rest of the eight tabs, you would go through and update a total of eight different reports. Once we have updated all eight of the different reports, navigate to the end to the Dates tab. The Dates tab here, you have the option to change the dates, and these are set up date features for all of the different reports. So with just a simple change here, you're able to change the dates for all of the different reports you would like to view for your client data. The last tab, right next to it, the Total Data tab, is very important. This is a query with formulas that allow us to build the dashboard for you in tab number two. So please do not delete or modify this tab as it is important to make sure that your dashboard is created accurately. 
Navigating to dashboard in tab number two, you can see how the formulas are inserted to work. By applying the templates we just discussed, you will have a ready to use dashboard for your client. In tab number one, the company profile and company name and details will automatically update. The only task you have to change is the company logo to your own respective logo or client logo. The next step in customizing this dashboard is automation. So to do that, we're going to go to extensions, GACon for QuickBooks, automation, and then create workflow. Once this window loads and pops up, we're going to go ahead and name our workflow. And then we are going to add all of the templates that we just updated into our workflow. So here we've got name, KPI, data refresh. You could also add a description if you'd like. And then in the add templates column, this is where we're going to add all eight of those templates we just recently updated with your specific data. Balance sheet, statement of cash flows. There we go. Company information is optional to add to this workflow as company information doesn't typically change too much, but that's totally up to you and at your discretion. Next, we're going to go ahead and click the scheduler tab. Now we can select the frequency at which you'd like to refresh these templates. For example, we'll hit daily and then you'll select a time at which you'd like that to happen. I'm going to go ahead and select around 9 a.m. Then you also make sure you select or deselect this check mark at the bottom, generating a log of all automatic operations. Moving onwards, you can select whether you'd like to have an email sent to yourself or others when this is refreshed. Same with alerts. Then we're going to go ahead and hit apply and execute. And now we have it set up so our dashboard will be automatically updated without having to do any manual work. Looking at the different tabs that we have at the bottom here, if you look at profit and loss, not profit and loss report, you can see this is a summary of the respective report and does not include specific details. So for profit and loss, balance sheet and statement of cash flow, I'm going to go ahead and hide these sheets as they do not have to be displayed to the customer or client. Now, our profit and loss report, balance sheet report, and statement of cash flow report are all the reports that contain those details we do want to show to our customers or clients. Given these are the tabs that will ultimately be displayed to not only internal team members, but clients and customers like we just talked about, if you would like to edit these uh, to change the color scheme or format of these reports, you're going to go ahead and click on the tab of the specific report you'd like to edit, go to extensions, Geocon for QuickBooks, and then edit templates for current sheet. Clicking this will bring up our side panel here. And here we have the profit and loss report. Go ahead and click this edit template icon. In the edit template window, tab number three, report style settings right here, will allow you to edit the title, header, section title, subsection title, section total, subsection total, and section row, however you would like. For example, I'm going to hit title. You can edit the font size, make it slightly larger, smaller, edit the font family. If you'd like a different font, edit whether it's bold or italic or both. The text color as well as the background color. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit update and execute.
And as you can see, my report is customized to my aesthetic liking. One last note on the dashboard is you can see the default reports that we start you off with are the balance sheet reports, the profit and loss report, statement of cash flow report, and then we also have our profit and loss variance report. These are our basic set of reports to start you out with. However, moving forwards from here, you can add and customize any different reports you may need based on your client's needs. These can be age reports, budget reports, trial balances, and more. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks. Bye.